Creek. Central Queensland, Australia. I've raised the anchor and I'm heading out there. I'm gonna try and get to Lady Musgrave today. Heading out through the uh, two boys there and I haven't put the sails up yet. I'm gonna wait till I get out to the, into the main channel where it's deep and I'm gonna put my centerboard down and then I'll, uh, don't have to concentrate on the depth and I can get on and put the sails on. Coming up to the entrance to Pancake Creek now and you can see that the, uh, the sandbank over there. This is the uh, rocks on the other side. I'm gonna head down a bit now, a bit, getting a bit too close to those. We're cracking along to uh, Lady Musgrave at the moment, doing about 6.5 knots. Uh, 29 miles to go, so we should be there by about one o'clock. Busted head is behind in the mist. And uh, I've got a full main up and my autopilot is uh, is kind of right close to the end of its extension up here like that so I'm gonna reef put a reef in in a minute because obviously I don't think the wind is gonna go decrease it's only going to increase so I'm gonna give it a go so, so that's been next projects to reef so I'm gonna get me life jacket and e-perb on because I haven't put it on yet and uh, slap put a reef in off Lady Musgrave. Everything's going pretty well. I was going closer to the wind. I reckon it's going round to the east. So I tried to gain a bit to windward for a while. Three hours. And now I'm slowly cracking off towards Lady Musgrave. Uh, it's coming in from the south still at the moment. Oh, they reckon the wind's going to go round to the east. It goes round to the east, east is right on the nose. So I'm just taking it steady and uh, trying to get a bit to windward just in state in case it starts to go round. I put the protein line out again. I only just put it out. There's quite a few birds out here diving and uh, Everything's in control at the moment, and I could uh, could do with a fish. We're cracking on at six knots. The wind is slowly going round to the east, but we're uh, we'll be there in probably three quarters of an hour. Sailing past Lady Musgrove and a gas tanker's right on the end. On its way out, down the shipping channel. There's a fair few boats in here today in the, in the lagoon. I'll be pleased to get here, it'll be about two o'clock. In a minute I won't be able to sail anymore because the uh, wind's gone round a bit or to the east and I'll have to put the engine on for the last four or five hundred meters to the uh, entrance. There's the entrance over there so that's where we're going in and there's a national park boy off here if you uh, arrive in the dark. It's lined up to go in now and smack in the channels the gas tanker again. He's off, heading out through the reef.
lovely cormorant there on that thing. This is the edge of the reef along here. I arrived here at three o'clock. It's now about 5.30. Just been chilling out downstairs reading a book to be honest. It's uh, blowing a bit harder than when I arrived from the east, which is what the forecast was. And there's eight catamarans in here at the moment and me. Plus, I think over there is a national park boat and a research boat as well, checking for the stars of thorns. I'm going to uh, finish putting away the uh, mainsail and just tidying up the boat now before I uh, sit and have a drink as the sun goes down. I started off from Keppel two, two days ago. I had a really big day yesterday from three till five o'clock to get into uh, Pancake Creek. And uh, today I set off probably about seven o'clock this morning. I was the last to leave and I've uh, come here to uh, Lady Musgrave. I really wanted to go to Heron Island and through the reefs, but uh, it, it just didn't work out. And uh, I, uh, I've come here to uh, Lady Musgrave. I'll stay here a few days and uh, go and watch the turtles nesting. I'd like to thank the, all my shore crew who have shouted me a beer. I'm very much appreciated. Just going to sit down now as the sun's going down over the island and have have uh, my second one. I've got a line a sheep rope round the the boy and a, another sheep rope just as a preventer in case it snaps in the night. Makes me sleep easier. Just to view out the office. Well, it's blowing about 20 knots, maybe a little bit more. But, uh, that's great. See the uh, surf there breaking on the reef. Here's the island. It's low tide at the moment, so it's quite calm. And here's the old dinghy, see, going up and down. Makes it quite hard to uh, go ashore. You get wet. Flying 25 knots now. And the catamarans are on moorings. And there's one boat down here. He's on his anchor. There's a big national park boat in here and there's a research boat up the back. The surf's breaking on the reef out there. It's a bit too rough to go ashore to the island today. 
I'm just going to stay on the boat. This is the most popular part for the turtles to nest along here. It's like a moonscape. Just come around the beach to find a turtle that's nesting and I found one so I'll uh, just show you what is, what's happening. sitting on the beach. The sun's coming up. There's a turtle over there belling out a hole to make it uh, lay its eggs in. Ladies' eggs or given up, not sure. He's aiming back for the water now. She's aiming back for the water now. You gotta see it there. And it's making good progress to the beach. There's her track. Making a last, making a last dash to the sea. Successful turtles are the ones that are laying up here. It's all like moon craters. 
absolutely amazing. Here's one track last night. And they laid, laid their eggs down there somewhere. See this bird here? He's going in there on his egg. There's an egg in there. Can you see it? Yeah, right there. We're in the centre of the island. And over this way is where the shearwaters nest. Not here at the moment. They make burrows and nest underground. And these are the holes they make. Just basically like a Swiss cheese under the ground here. And when they come, they dig them all out again, and uh, that's where they lay their nest, lay their eggs. Sitting on his, sitting on his nest. And there's just uh, hundreds just in this tree. And walking back to the uh, lagoon. And there's the lagoon through there. And there's a noddy looking for a piece of leaf litter to make his nest. And he's got one. Had a good look around the island and we've been here for uh, five days now. Two of those days I couldn't get off the boat. And uh, the first day we arrived, second day I couldn't get off the boat, third day I got off the boat for a little while, the next day I couldn't get off the boat and today it's been a perfect day being able to get off the boat whenever you like. So the weather's good for uh, setting off tomorrow. So we're going to give it a go off the Fraser Island. Oh, that was a female and a male turtle having sex with about four males wanting to have a go. Now here's Artemis on a national park mooring here. Lady Musgrave at low tide. You can see some of the reef exposed there. And especially on this side. Some of the outer reef is uh, probably six inches to 300 out of the water at least. Sun's just about to go down over Lady Musgrove. 